one day in the house when I was alone. Um, I thought I could see my, my family in the house, but I couldn't see them. I, I sensed that they were trying to communicate with me, but I couldn't see them, and I thought I was going mad. So I texted my sister, I'm like, I think I'm going mad. I think I, you lot are here, but I can't see you. Then I laid in my bed, and I could feel everybody near me kissing me, but there was no one there. And then my, my, my toes started going numb, and then everything started going numb. And then my body went up, in, above the bed. And uh, the whole room moved. I'm like, I know this sounds crazy, yeah? So my, question, my next question to that is, are you taking some strong substance? No, at that, 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 that then, I wasn't, and then I was, that was the day, a day and a half before I had to leave the house.
الله لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم لا تأخذه سنة ولا نوم له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض من ذا الذي يشفع عنده إلا بإذنه يعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيطون بشيء من علمه إلا بما شاء وسع كرسيه السماوات والأرض ولا يؤوده حفظهما ولا يؤوده حفظهما ولا يؤوده حفظهما وهو العلي العظيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم آمن الرسول بما أنزل إليه من ربه والمؤمنون كلنا آمن بالله وملائكته وكتبه ورسله لا نفرق بين أحد من رسله وقالوا سمعنا وأطعنا أفرانك ربنا وإليك المصير لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها لها ما كسبت وعليها ما اكتسبت ربنا لا تآخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين You have to get out of him. You have to get out of him. You have to get out of him. Jamia. Jamia. You have to get out of him. Do you understand me? Do you understand you have to get out of him? Do you understand that you have to get out of him? Do you understand you have to get out of him? Do you understand? You understand he doesn't love you. He doesn't love you now. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم شهد الله أنه لا إله إلا هو والملائكة وأولو العلم قائما بالقسط لا إله إلا هو العزيز الحكيم إن الدين عند الله الإسلام وما اختلف الذين أوتوا الكتاب إلا من بعد ما جاءهم العلم بغيا بينهم ومن يكفر بآيات الله فإن الله سريع الحساب أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم إن ربكم الله إن ربكم الله الذي خلق السماوات والأرض في ستة أيام ثم استوى على العرش يغشي الليل النهار يطلبه حثيثا يطلبه حثيثا والشمس والقمر والنجوم والنجوم مسخرات بأمره ألا له الخلق والأمر تبارك الله رب العالمين ادعوا ربكم تضرعا وخفية إنه لا يحب المعتدين جنية جنية أيوة فينا أيوة فينا أصل أيوة فينا What did you say? You are فينا What you doing here فينا What's he doing in his body? I love Pardon? I love him. You love him, do you? Do you love him? Do you really love him? Do you really love him? Yes. So why are you harming him? Why are you harming him? 
Why are you harming him? I said, why are you harming him? Do you really love him? Do you really love him? You know he's a Muslim? You know he's a Muslim? Are you a Muslim too? You're not a Muslim. What is your religion? Do you have a religion? No, you don't have a religion. Jania, you're harming him. You're hurting him. You're oppressing him. Jania, you're oppressing him. What you're doing is not allowed. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim Afahasibtum annama khalaqnakum abatha wa annakum ilayna la turja'oon Fata'ana Allahu al-maliku al-haq لا إله إلا هو رب العرش الكريم ومن يدع مع الله إلها آخر لا برهان له به فإنما حسابه عند ربه إنه لا يفلح الكافرون وقل رب اغفر وارحم وأنت خير الراحمين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصافات صفا والصافات صفا والصافات صفا فالزاجرات زجرا 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 فالتانيات ذكرا إن إلهكم لواحد 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 رب السماوات والأرض وما بينهما ورب المشارق إنا زينا السماء الدنيا بزينة الكواكب وحفظا من كل شيطان وحفظا من كل شيطان مارد وحفظا من كل شيطان مارد وحفظا من كل شيطان وحفظا من كل شيطان مارد 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 وحفظا من كل شيطان مارد وحفظا من كل شيطان مارد وحفظا من كل شيطان وحفظا من كل شيطان مارد 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 وحفظا من كل شيطان مارد لا يسمعون إلى الملأ الأعلى ويقذفون من كل جانب دحورا دحورا ولهم عذاب واصب دحورا ولهم عذاب واصب دحورا دحورا ولهم عذاب واصب دحورا دحورا ولهم عذاب واصب إلا من خطف الخطفة فأتبعه شهاب ثاقب 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 وعد لي أنتهم وعد لي أنتهم وعد لي أنتهم وعد لي أنتهم What do you want from him? 
What do you want from him? What do you want from him? I said, what do you want from him? I said, what do you want from him? Jania, you can't stay here. You can't stay here, do you understand me? You can't stay here. You need to leave him. Do you understand? You gonna leave? You gonna leave? Take an oath. Say Uqsum Billah. Say Uqsum Billah. Say Uqsum Billah. Say Uqsum Billah, you leave. Say. Say. Say it. Uqsum Billah. That will leave this body. This body. And never return. To this body. Or to any other body. If I return, if I return, may Allah's curse be upon me. And his angels, and his angels, and all of mankind, and go down to his feet and leave. Go down, go down to his feet, go down. Now, 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 leave, leave, leave. Come away from his head, go down to his feet. Go down to his feet, I said. In the name of Allah, go down. Go down. Go down. Go down to his feet. Go. Leave. Now leave quickly. Leave. 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 I said, leave in the name of Allah. Leave. 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 Leave, I said. Leave. Leave. I said, leave. Get out of him. Get out of him. Come away from his stomach. Go down to his feet. Come away from his stomach. Get out of his stomach. Get out of his stomach. I said, get out of his stomach. Go down to his feet. Go down to his feet. Brother, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Are you aware what happened? Are you aware of what happened? I think it's a little bit. Pardon? Something. Something's happened. Something's happened. You're not fully aware what happened. Okay, can you sit up? Uh, my body feels really stiff. Okay. Take your, take your time, but try to sit up. You okay? I'm okay, yeah. Let me sit back. Yeah. Sure. <sighs> okay, so you can you tell me in your own words what you think happened? If, uh, my foot body felt like how it did before when it would seize. That's how I felt. My body seizing. Uh, I lost. I lost consciousness. Uh, I did. I, I was going in and out of consciousness. Um, I. Uh, I could. I could feel that I was. I was here. But. I wasn't here. At the same, I couldn't. 
I don't know, it was really weird that like, I'm a, I was aware that I was here, but I don't know what was happening. Do you know what happens? you know what this is? I'm just only assuming it's what happened last time. So I'm going to ask you some questions, okay? They're going to be really challenging, okay? These questions are just to... So, so for somebody ignorant to see this, it's for them to understand this is not fake, this is real. So... I'm going to pretend that I'm like a journalist, so I'm going to ask you a question. That, do you know what this is? What is this? Can you tell us what what do you think happened? Um, there's, there's a gin inside me. You believe there's a gin inside of you? Yeah. Do you really have a gin inside of you? I don't know. I don't know if it was because I couldn't. I couldn't. I wasn't in control of my body. So what was that? What was it? What was it? Something that's not, not f part of me. Something that's. So, explain to a lame man like what was going on. Because if a lame man doesn't believe in jinns, what was it then? If it wasn't jinn, I can't explain what else it could be apart from something entering my body and taking control of, of me, without my permission. So what is it? A jinn. Okay. Some, another being trying to trying to mess me up. Can you feel it? I do feel it. Yeah, I, f I feel like something's wrong because my body, when it it reacts in a way that I don't want it to, it starts to act not normal. That I don't want it to. I don't tell my body to do that, and it starts to seize and. And then I don't have control. It's so, really surreal because I, I don't. So the people that you, for instance, work with, <clears throat> or in you in your university, if some if you, this happened, this episode happened, and they they saw you, they saw you and they said to you, snap out of it. This is all in your mind. How would you answer back? What would you say to them? I would first I would get a little bit angry because I don't think anybody would want to choose to be in a situation like this so um, it's a really uh, it's kind of upsetting at first because um, people don't understand things and they, they fear what they don't understand so they try to um, justify it and for me that's um, a bit annoying because just because you don't understand something it doesn't mean that it's not happening and it's not real and I personally I was aware of jinns and jinn possession but I've always had some <clears throat> subconscious skepticism until it happened to me which I never thought that it would happen to me but for uh, without for, going into too much detail how's it messed up your life without going into too much detail Without exposing yourself, just talk like generally. It's uh, it's affected my uh, the way I act. Uh, it's affected my uh, my bodily functions to a certain degree. It's um. It's affected my mind because at first you think it's um. Like you said, a layman would tell me to snap out of it, but then when you actually see things with your own eyes, you know you uh you start to believe that something isn't right here. Um, it's affected, it affected a lot of my life. It's, uh, it feels like it's a, an illness that you can't see, or I can't um, see it under a microscope, or a doctor can't tell me what's wrong. So then you start to lose hope because you think, well, what is it until, um, until you come to see you? So so if somebody said to you, uh, this is a mental problem, this is, you, you need to go to see a psychiatrist, or you need to go to a mental health institute, what would your reply be to that? Um, and remember, these you go to these places, they're going to talk to you for a bit, and if you act like the way you acted, they'll start giving you tablets and pills to subdue you, to make you slow. How, what would your reply be to, these, to somebody who would say that to you? Um, going to a psychiatrist or a, or a doctor... Um, they're not spiritually 
inclined to understand this type of the world so everything for them has to be tangible or something that they can see so obviously they believe that the mind must control everything so if something's wrong in your body and there's no physical diagnosis then it must be in your mind but if you have sound mind and yet these things happen they put they give you medicine which is I think is wrong like, like I said just because they don't understand this side of the universe doesn't mean that it's just, it doesn't happen um, modern science always tries to disregard uh, these type of things they would probably understand this more and it could it could be something uh, from what I've seen and read this it, it was common throughout the ages but yeah for some reason in this day and age it's uh, it's been overshadowed by you know modern medicine but I, I don't agree with the fact that every time something like this happens that it's down to uh, psychosis or um, needs medicine to fix it because it, sometimes it makes it worse my next question to you is uh, has somebody convinced you that you have a gin inside of you no <laughs> I, don't, I don't they haven't convinced me um, they have only um, told me so explain that explain um, that um, to convince somebody the word convince is they're trying to tell me something that I don't know but from what I've seen happen to me, they just have to tell me and I will be like, I know, because I didn't need anybody convinced to convince me after I saw what was happening to me. And things that I've seen, things, things that have happened to my body. It was... Um, my next question is... If something was wrong. My next question is, do you know what type of gene you have? Do you know what this relationship with this gin that you have, you have an idea of what it wants from you. So what, what gin um, is it and what does it want from you? Do you know anything about that? Yeah, yeah. It's, um, from what's happened and from my treatment, um, the outcome was that there was a female gin. Uh, the female gin is um, bothering me, possessing me, interacting with me in order to... Uh, to break down um, the relations between my family and my wife, for whatever reason they, for whatever reason they, they wanted to do, um, they've affected me. In by by being a female gin, it's uh, it's been really bad for me, me and my wife because um, we can't be around each other. But when I'm away from her, I seem to I seem to not have that many symptoms or problems but um when I'm around her it's um it's abnormally confrontational. Uh you know which is really um, how how are you finding your battle with this problem? It's um it's pretty hard. You know, because you know everybody thinks they're strong. You know, everybody wants to believe they're strong and they could overcome certain things but uh, you know, I've always felt that you know I'm, I'm brave and I'm strong. I can I can overcome things, but and I have done in my life. But with uh, with this, it's been uh, it's been a, the, the hardest thing, the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Do you, do you suffer from night terrors? Yeah. Tell, tell us about your night terrors. Um, I was sleep when I'm sleeping at times. Uh, I could feel my body start to seize, um, start to get really tense and um, finding it difficult to move. Or when it does seize it, my body will lock in certain positions out of my control. Um, I will try to talk to my wife to explain to her what's happening. And for some reason or the other, I'm, I'm unable to vocalise what I'm saying. Like I'm, like somebody's putting their hand over my mouth, and I'm not able to, to, to say. Um, What's your advice to people that are going through the same problems as you? There's so many, so much advice. Uh, 
the first thing I would advice I would give to somebody is to um, to look at themselves and their life and see what they're doing that's wrong because from what I've seen the fundamental evil in your life that you're doing or that you have done could be a reason why it's opened up you know this um, this gateway if you will um, accept accept what, what's happening to you instead of listening to other people you know even if it's your friends or your family or your, whoever just to accept that because we, we usually deny the, the probable cause and try to try to fob it off and that's only going to delay it from getting fixed and uh, there's a lot of advice but the, the last one I would, I would say Apart from those is make sure that if you're going to go and find help that you do your research and make sure you you're doing it right because if you don't it can increase your problem tenfold so um, seek the right help the correct help that's a beautiful advice mashallah may Allah would you uh, I was crying I she, was, the road. she was exposed I, I don't know brother she told me her name while I was walking down the road, coming here, I was just off Sutherland Avenue Road, and um, my brother said that she had a dream. Let me tell you about the dream. Uh, she said she had a dream that somebody was uh, speaking to me and my wife, and uh, the person in the dream was addressing me, my wife, and a third person that couldn't be seen. And uh, <clears throat> um. My wife told me that she heard a name and she told me the name while I was walking and I just started, I just started crying. I just burst into tears and, uh, you know, that was, that made me feel, I don't know, that's the first, that's, that was just, I was just, I can't explain how, I've, I've never had, I've had so many, everybody's had so many feelings and emotions that they can pinpoint in their lives, but the way I felt then, I couldn't put a word to to how, how I felt because it just didn't feel, the feeling wasn't of this world. It was like, that's, 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 are you Are you praying five times a day now? I've always prayed five times a day, always. Always? I always have, I've never stopped. No matter what I've gone through in my life and whatever roads I've gone down or whatever I've, I've you know, you know, associate myself with people or, you know, everybody's had their own um, way of life, but I've always kept to my salah. So that is, you know, without your salah, salah is very, for me, I look at it as if that was probably something that I was always held on to because when it comes to your deen, you could hold on to so many different things to strengthen your grip. I didn't have that many things to hold on to, but there's one thing that, I held on to was my prayer and if I was to tell, any, uh, tell anybody is that you know you hold on to your salah then that is that's probably the best thing you can do is to keep up with your prayers.